हेलो एवरी वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अदर वीडियो ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो एज यू ऑल नो गेट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीकेंड आई मीन ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी द फर्स्ट बैच विल बी राइटिंग द गेट एंड आई थिंक फर्स्ट बैच इज कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड ग्रेजुअली द अदर अदर स्ट्रीम्स ऑल्सो विल बी अपेयरिंग फॉर द गेट एग्जाम सो जस्ट दिस वीक आई मीन द वीक बिफोर द गेट एग्जाम इन ऑल फॉर ऑल द एस्पायरेंट्स दे हैव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स गोइंग इन टू देयर माइंड आई नो दे विल बी इन ट्रिमेंड द स्प्रेसर uh they will be worrying about lot of things uh they will be thinking that whether they have taken a good preparation or not whether they have solved enough questions from each of the topics so that you know they can tackle the new questions that will be coming on the gate exam day and also they might be thinking that you know they are not able to remember everything a lot of things will be going on into their mind and i personally know it very well because i have appeared for gate four times and on the fourth time i was able to crack the gate exam so i have i have a you know quite uh, good understanding of what is going into your mind currently so i have thought to share some of my experiences uh, to you that why these feelings are not you know not a real fear or real pressure i would say and why you shouldn't worry about all of these things and how you have you should you know you should train your mind how you should control yourself in this coming four or five days that is remaining so that you know you can you can mentally be prepared for the gate exam and appear for the gate exam so this i am going to discuss in this particular video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly now without further ado let's get started with today's video the first very common panic or stress that you will have now is that you you might feel that you are not able to remember everything that you have studied so far and this is very common i have also experienced it every time whenever i appear for any exam not only gate whenever i was appearing for interview uh, for phd whenever i was preparing for my you know btech days also so i used to think before the exam that i am not able to remember everything that i have studied so far but later i came to know from different sources in internet and all so this thing happens because now you are trying to remember the whole 10 subjects or 8 subjects how much you have studied for gate together you try to think and that is a huge volume right i mean for each subject there will be like 10 to 12 topics so i hope you understand there are 120 or 150 topics you try to remember together that is not possible because it's very huge volume and if you try to think that oh i do yeah, am i able to recollect that particular topic from the subject and then that again i was thinking that another particular topic from from another subject it's not possible to remember everything but you know you you will realize it that when you will be appearing for the exam and when a particular question will come in the exam hall then your focus will be on that particular topic only like the question suppose you got a question from a particular topic then your focus only will be on that particular question and the things that are related to that particular question that means one topic or two topics uh, from a particular subject then you know you 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 realize that you 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 are able to recollect everything there because you are not that time you are not thinking about this whole 10 subject the huge volume you are focusing on that particular topic and that's why you are able to you know recollect the things so it's not that whatever you are feeling that i am not able to remember everything and all that's pretty natural i mean that is happening because the, that huge volume it's not possible to remember but when the question will come in the exam day you will be able to able to recollect that because then you are you are only focusing on that particular topic so this fear of you know like people used to say that i am forgetting anything or that is not the real one it's because you are thinking it as a whole volume a huge volume that's why you are feeling this one but whenever in the exam hall you will be getting a particular questions you will be able to focus on that particular question and you will be able to solve that particular question next common worry that student is to have before the exam is that they might feel that i haven't solved enough question for a particular subject and topic and maybe i am not well prepared for that because i haven't solved enough question from that particular subject then what will happen if the question comes from that particular subject in the final exam will i able to solve that particular uh, question or i have to leave that one now you know there is no such you know kind of so called number of questions you have to solve from a particular subject so that you will be able to solve it in the final exam so there is no such kind of kind of predefined number that that this much amount of question you have to solve so you have learned that particular topic you have learned that particular subject you have solved few questions you have understood the subject and that understanding the knowledge will be helpful for you to solve the question in the in the in the final exams and also you know there is one thing that 
why you are thinking that question will come from that particular subject it may come from a subject where you, you are much more confident you have done enough questions also and also you know in the worst case if, if the question comes from that particular subjects and if you are not able to solve that particular question then no need to worry because you don't need 100 out of 100 to get into a good iit or isc i mean you you know like around 70 marks on average the question is medium not so hard not so you know easy if you get around 70 also like 65 to 70 then also it's okay you'll be getting into a good iit's uh, for your masters so no need to worry about about these things that you know i haven't solved that particular subject and i haven't uh, prepared well i haven't solved uh, you know enough number of questions so what i will do if the question will come let the question comes first you try it if you at all not able to solve then also there is no problem because there are other questions from where you can you know, from where you can, you can solve uh, those questions and you will be if you are if you are able to achieve 65 to 70 then it's okay so no need to worry on this kind of things that what will happen let it happen first and then uh, you, you you will deal with it next is what if the question is too tough and as you know uh, iit kharagpur historically is being kind of i will say not so well known for a good good question setup uh, whatever question they have set up so far in 2006 and 14 i guess uh, so the questions have traditionally been a bit tougher than the other years now yeah obviously you know all the aspirants will be a bit uh, you know kind of worried and kind of uh, scared whether the question will be tough this year also now one thing i will say that if you have really prepared well and if you are really a serious aspirant for gate you shouldn't worry about the kind of question that will be set by iit kharagpur because if the question is easy then i think you should be worried because if the question is easy uh, whoever has 60 percent knowledge on a particular subject he also able to solve the question because based on some intuition and intelligence level of a particular person they will be able to solve those easy questions very easily but the, if the questions are coming tougher then those questions is not possible to answer by the you know kind of um, students who are who are not well prepared then if you are well prepared for the gate exam your chance of getting a good rank actually increases because you know each subject thoroughly you have almost 90 to 100 percent knowledge on the particular subjects and because of that you will be able to solve those uh, you know tough questions and whoever has 60 percent or 50 percent knowledge it's not possible for them to uh, you know just by intuition solve those difficult questions because those difficult question needs your solid understanding of the particular subject so if you are someone who is really kind of very serious about the gate and who have prepared very well for the gate examination tough course tough question and i would say medium question also is good for you if the question is coming very easy it is actually not a good thing for you so tough question is blessing for you if you are someone who is preparing serious for the gate exam uh, gate examination so no need to worry about the toughness of the paper now next thing is uh, this has been asked to me by many students that sir what will what i will do if i am not able to solve five question at a time and it is it is a very serious thing because if you are not able to solve five consecutive questions you will start feeling the pressure but you know i again i am saying because uh, if until the exam is over don't think that i am i'm out of the race so if, even if you if you are not able to solve five for any consecutive five questions maybe in the next five question you will be able to solve it so don't give up what i am saying is that whenever you are starting the examination you can't go out of the examination hall in the mid right you have to be there till the end of the examination so please don't give up you are not able to solve three questions four questions five questions it's okay try the next one who knows maybe next 10 questions you will be able to solve so you know keep on trying the questions keep on solving the questions if the question is coming too tough leave it and come back once you have done with one pass of the all the questions and whatever questions you feel that you will be able to solve maybe in the next attempt just mark it and come back solve that one i hope you have you know practiced it through your mock test so you know the strategy that you have to follow please follow that one and don't give up in the middle or maybe whenever you are facing two tough questions two three four questions you are not able to solve it's okay because like if you are not able to solve five questions also maximum 10 marks you are losing right if you are able to solve all the rest other questions you'll be able to able to have a very good score and if the question is too tough again you know the range will be too low i mean if the question is 
kind of a question that IIT Kharagpur set in 2014. Then the highest marks won't be 85 or 80 plus. Maybe there will be few people or 80 plus, but the average number will be lower than the other year. So no need to worry about that thing. So try to give your best, try to solve as much as question that you can do in that particular exam and don't give up into the in the middle, you know, try keep trying solving the question that you are able to solve. And after the exam only you think that how was the exam and all. So don't give up in the middle. It may happen you are not able to solve few of the consecutive questions, but there are other questions that will be coming and that might be easier for you. So try solving them. Finally, I will say there is a famous quotation by Nelson Mandela that it always seems impossible until it is done and it is true for gate until you crack gate it will always seems that it is impossible to crack uh, because all we who are from a tier 2 tier 3 colleges uh, iit is a dream and these questions that is being set by iits or isc it's always you know seems tougher for me to uh, me or us to solve uh, the, those particular questions so it's always seems impossible and once you crack it then only you can tell yourself that okay i have cracked gate so this this is very natural uh, that you are having all of these pressures now and if it seems that you you, you are currently thinking that you won't be able to crack the uh, gate exam that's pretty natural that's not the reality uh, this kind of feelings or this kind of thinking is very natural to you because this is the, 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 the level of competitiveness of gate is that much and i will again say that there is no perfect preparation for any exam not only gate any exam you know there is no you know always a scope of improvement how much you study how much question you have solved how much good good preparation you have taken but there is always a scope of improvement and that is true for all the aspirants that is there it is not only true for you it is true for all the aspirants who are preparing for the gate examination so don't worry about how much you have prepared how well you can do forget about those things whatever you have learned for the uh, you know last uh, couple of months have a faith have a confidence on that that you know whatever the question will be coming even if they are tricky even if you are, if you are they are tougher whatever knowledge you have gained so far you will be able to able to solve those questions and somehow you know your all your hard work will be pay off so i i, I hope steve jobs one of his interview he said that dots will be connected somehow so have a belief on your karma or destiny that dots will be connected somehow in the future so you also have the trust on the destiny on the hard work that you have done that whatever knowledge you have you will be able to solve the questions that is there that will be there uh, coming into the gate exam that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope this video will be helpful for all you to you know and manage the stress that you are going through currently i hope um, this all of my messages will help you to you know handle this pressure and hopefully you know you will be able to do well in the exam in the coming week that is that will be happening for in the gate exam so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like the video and if you have liked the video please uh, hit a like uh, in the video and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly and please do share my videos to other people also so that you know my videos get more reach so that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye